Girl. <laughs> Clara, I think I need your like commentary. Like, Clara, I need your commentary too. I don't think anyone could probably hear you, but it needs to be like the game theory videos where no, it needs like, to be like they have like a little like un- emergency like- intercom. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Welcome, friends. What's up, guys? <laughs> this is Billy, back for another episode of the Glassmith Pod. Tonight, I'm joined by Caitlin, David, and Davion. Um, so I, I've been knowing Caitlin for a while, but David, Davion, I just met y'all. So, like, let me ask you a couple questions about yourself. No? Okay, okay. I'll allow it. How about you, Davion? You're in? For sure. Well, yes. All right, so where are you from? Uh, I was born here, but then I used to live in New Jersey. Then I used to came. Then I came here. So yeah, where in New Jersey? Sarahville. Where's that? Like like in New Jersey, like so right by New York, or is like to the south? No, it's like 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 maybe like an hour and a half from New York. How how old were you when you moved back? Mm, like seven. Oh really? So yeah, you've so, been here most of your life. Yeah. You still have people up there? Like you go visit? Yeah. All my family, like well, on my dad's side, they live in. Up there. Okay. Okay. David, where are you from? Hi, I'm from Port Aransas, Texas. Really? Port A? Like Port A legit? Like on the water? Yeah, like legit Port A. Really? Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately? Uh, I don't know. It's like... See, I love being a little socialite, and I love, you know, to give the gossip, but sometimes, I don't know, when Port A is that small, it's not fun when everyone knows your business. Mm. Is it a crazy adjustment to go from season to off season? Oh my god, yeah. That's why like it's really hard to survive as a business in Port A because it's like you pretty much rely on one week for spring break, Labor Day weekend, and then like summer. And but you have to just like trust that that'll bring you all your business. Bunch of redneck locals. I um <laughs> I went to I went to Port A in October and I stayed at the it's like it looked like a like a pyramid. I don't know. It was on the beach. It was like somewhere like, I don't know, not quite to Corpus, but not all the way down. It kind of in oh, this see, ground. okay. I live like, okay, I live like 10 minutes out of Porte and then like 15 minutes from where like, like North Padre is, I guess. Oh, really? I might be making that up. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Kaylin, tell me about yourself. Where are you, where are you from? I'm from San Antonio, Texas. The whole time. Born and raised. Never moved away. Mm-mm. Did you attend like, like just one set of schools too, or did you move around San Antonio? No, just one set. Like really, they moved when I left for college. Um, so now they're living in like a whole different part of San Antonio. But like when I was there, we lived in the same house pretty much. It, well, my parents had a house like, but I moved when I was like five months. So like I don't remember anything about that house, you know, before the other one. You uh you miss the original house? Yeah, it was really nice. Like, it, I think it's just because I miss the memories that are there. Like, we used to have a lot of kids on our block. So, like, everyone would just go outside and, like, just go home when the sun went down. So, like, there was someone always outside to, like, play with, you know? Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. It was nice. Um, you guys have any questions for each other? You curious about each other? You want to know, know anything about that you don't know? Uh, where were you on January 6th, Caitlin? <laughs> Your silence says a lot. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, what was January 6th? Uh, I don't really know. I just came up with that. Okay. Just a date and time. I fuck with that well, question. Yeah, I don't want to answer it either. Where, where, where were you, Davion? On January 6th. You said you're from up that way. What? Well, like New Jersey, oh, but January 6th. That's close. No? This is a conspiracy going on. Wait, what does January 6th in New Jersey have to do with that? Well, that's a date and a place. All right. Wait, I was wait, I was here, though. I was working here. <laughs> Good, yeah, yeah. Okay, know. okay. Yeah, I wasn't there either. I don't think so. No, I was here. A couple of them got sunglasses on. 
Yeah. Trying to hide your identities. Okay. The rocking the sunglasses game. It's that just people the me. Billy are rocking the no sunglasses game. So like, Davian, where would you say that like you're from? Like, are you from New Jersey? Or are you from Austin? Uh, I would say I'm from here. Are you going planning on staying here, or do you would you like to go like explore the world? Uh, nah, I wouldn't want to stay here for real. Like I, I like I for real hate Austin. What kind of aspirations? Where like where do you want to go? Uh, you know. I want to go, like, anywhere for real. Like, I don't really want to just stay in Austin. Like, I really want to go to, like, like, yeah. I think my main goal, in, <laughs> my end goal in life is, like, to sell um, mangoes, coconuts, and, like... Oh, really? Out of the country? Yeah, like, Brazil or something like that. Like, mangoes, coconuts, and peaches. No, not peaches. Mangoes, coconuts, and... Pineapples. Why not peaches? Bananas. Fuck peaches. Okay. Well, like, peaches are, like, okay, but, right. like... I like peaches. Okay, well, if you ever come visit Brazil, I'll, I'll sell pizzas, maybe. Okay, sure. But, uh, oh, I could do, like, infused pizzas with, like, edibles and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I could do that for, like, the side. My, my, my side. You've hustle. ever traveled overseas? Uh, I went to Japan when I was... Really? Like, yeah, when I was, like, 12. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little bro. Where, where have y'all been? Um, like, overseas? Yeah. I went to Italy. I've never been overseas. Really? Domestic. I, I like to really stay um, in Texas. <laughs> this is where all the fun stuff is. I love Texas. It's a really strong southern accent. Wait, so would you do? Would you consider leaving Texas? Oh my God, yeah. Okay, so where do you? <laughs> where so you want to stay uh, domestic or you want to go foreign? You leave. You can leave Texas. Uh, I don't know. Cause see, the thing is, is that I know Texas. I know Texas. I know how to operate her. I know, like, Texas, Texas is predictable. Like, we always know what she's going to do. But see, like, if I have to move somewhere, and I'm like, what if I move there, and two years in, I'm like, ew, I don't want to live here anymore. I'm like the type of person where I'm like, ugh, I just don't want to, like, deal with having to, like, relocate all over the place. Mm, yeah, yeah. When I was, when I was, like... When I was moving, it was like I really wanted to see the whole thing. Like I wanted to go everywhere. My aspirations coming out of high school were to go to like Thailand and all overseas, which I did not do. I think I went I went to Costa Rica twice, but that was like even a little bit later, probably 23, 20, like 23, 26, something like that. But um, yeah, I used to want to travel a lot and I traveled around America a lot, but not really uh, the world. And I didn't want to live anywhere. Like, it's like somebody would be like, well, where do you want to live? Now I'm thinking only West. Like the next, like, like I'm not moving east again. What about you, Caitlin? Where would I move? Or like, yeah, where? yeah. Like, would you you want to stay here? You want to stay in the great state of Texas? You want to take it take it off foreign or domestic? Um, probably domestic. I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure. Like, I know I don't want to live in Texas my whole life. I know I want to move. Mm -hmm. I just don't really know where yet. Um, I'm trying to find, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, if I want to even, like, deal with, like, a really harsh winter. Because, like, we've never, like, I've never had to deal mm. with that. I've never had to drive in the snow. Like, all of that. So, like, if I move somewhere, like, I want to move to Washington. Washington but, like, it's State. it's always raining. Which isn't too bad. Which isn't too bad. You I know, wouldn't be Washington, mad at that. Washington but. State is actually where they shot uh, Twilight. Is it really? Yeah, for real. Like, that's where they actually Forks, have Forks, Washington. Yeah. So it's Forks, gorgeous. Forks. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was, I was like, say. I wanted to go to Washington or some shit. That shit would be cool. Yeah, no, I think it's like a really beautiful state. Like, I feel like beautiful. my wardrobe doesn't accommodate like cold weather and that like really fucks me up because I like love the thought of cold in theory, but mm -hmm. like, uh, I think like a lot, some of Washington probably gets really, really cold and mm -hmm. the coast is just this like, I, I'd love to like have a place there. Right, like because you can go like you know how the weather like I guess the weather was like two three days ago like wherever I was at anyway, it was super misty, like everything was super misty and super green, and it's like for a week I think I'm in love with that like that's like the greatest week like I I don't mind going hiking in it I'm cool with all my clothes getting wet you know what I mean, but if you really have to survive on all your clothes getting like you know what I mean on your clothes wet and fucking soggy all the time always need a like kind of need an umbrella kind of don't. Like here, you can kind of almost guarantee that you can go swimming. You can do all sorts of out outdoor activities without being discouraged. Over there, it seems like a, like almost like a natural discouragement. It'd be hard to get through. Almost like our summer. Like when it gets really hot here, it's like, why are we doing this? Why do we live here? Wouldn't it be better 
if we lived in some place cold. Anyway, those are. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. What I'm curious about is Diva Spice. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not at the shops that much. And I, you know, I haven't been uh, talk, uh, talking to y'all, but I've been hearing there's rumors. There's like a lot of stuff going on, like just in my brain, like in my head, and from what I'm hearing. So we have to know. So Diva Spice is um, a fun little, I don't know. I just like, whenever me and Davion met each other, we were just like, we're both different kinds of crazy. And I think that we enable each other a lot. And I love that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. Diva Spice is great, actually. I feel like Diva Spice brings a lot to the um, company, especially with, like, shit, I don't know, um, some cool shit, for real. Um, and, like, it's more about the aspect of the fact it's, like, when you combine, it's, like, um, damn. No, no, no. Yeah. It's like kind of like the like that Powerpuff girl shit. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. It's like you know you saw the one scene like the, like the theme, not like yeah. the theme song. It was like the intro. Yes, um, yes. <clears throat> uh, sugar, spice, everything nice, <laughs> and a little bit more or some some shit like that. So, but you know, what okay, I'm about, like <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, but it's like it's like um. So, is it a thing, or or people? It's coming. A person. Out. It's coming. Along. Is it that like like two 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 humans get together to form one? It's human? like a thing about like oh I got like do we put race? do like is it one is it one slot on the schedule or two? You know what I mean? Is it two sets of pay or just one? It's you know what like, I mean? Or like like, like where's the separation? Uh, double. Where's Not the start? two? It's actually double. Double double. You got like a, a the like a double double, double, double is what you're saying. Double, double, double trouble. Double, double trouble bubble in my bubble. I'll so what is double. the plans? Like what's the like what's the plans internally? Like how are you guys gonna fuck my shit up? Okay, so okay, I got a good one. So okay, think, okay, Diva Spice think is it. like think of like it's okay. like did you ever watch um like Power Rangers? Oh no, <laughs> fuck out of here. Okay. Hey. You know. Uh huh. So I was like, okay. used to hate that shit, but I watched it anyways. I didn't like Spy Rangers either. Oh, lame, wow. lame. I like Ducktales okay, and like, the shows. Like there was all these kind of cartoons that were cool. I didn't and like then, and then you've seen Animaniacs. Yes. I feel like that was. But too Pinky, old you never seen Pinky well, in the Brain? Seen, well, oh, oh no, I have seen Pinky in the Brain. Fuck. But I feel like that was still too old for me to like. I used to watch Billy and Mandy. That was my shit. Yeah. That was my shit. But um um, think about like Power Rangers, like the the Morphin, like you know how the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Like you know how the the, the ship, how the ship um, but the body will like combine together and shit. Oh yeah. Like, 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 like yeah, like, like the Wu Tang Clan. Fuck yeah. 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 Did okay. you know actually that um this is actually so off topic, um, did you know that Childish and you know Donald Glover got his name? Why is it two names? Oh. Is that how is that how childish Gambino and Donald Glover childish Gambino Donald Glover goes by? No, you well, childish Gambino is his, like his stage name, his rap name. Okay, and he got it from like a Wu Tang like name changer. Oh, on the you go to like an internet site. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay. that got nothing to do with it. I just I just said Wu Tang and you know. All right, uh, David, I got on here that we're. Uh, that the Roman Empire should come up at some point during this discussion. Is there? Is that a, that was just like somebody talking shit about you, or, or is so, that something okay. you want to discuss? First of all, I think that saying something is your Roman Empire is kind of done. We have to get over that. We're moving on to new terms. Like you have to just say, I'm obsessed with it. I fuck with it. I kiki with it. I gag over it. Like there's so much more <laughs> than saying like, oh my god, my Roman Empire is when. To stop. We don't need any more of that. My Roman Empire, though, is probably the Roman Empire and how women in the Roman Empire would... I don't know. I just, like... One thing that I really do like about being a psychology major is that I love, like, all of my little, like, woke pill classes. Okay. And I, I always feel like, I don't know, like, there's just, like, something about me where, like, I just get it. Like, I'm gonna be such a good psychologist because, like, I just get it. Like, I love looking at, like, ancient Rome and being, like... Well, yes, they had no concept of sexuality. Mm. 
Like it literally wasn't like I don't I don't know. It's like things like that where it's like it's very interesting to like look at things like that and like really digest like like sort of like the origins of where things like that came from because sexuality is just a conceptualization that was implemented within society the same way that you know gender and race was so I think that being able to like sort of like pick that apart is really essential like especially as a queer person for like being able to like so like you look at the beginning and you see this you see this place where it kind of like what we do now essentially they say started yes right and so then how come they were so free in some ways and how come those freedoms moved away over time? You know, like they, like they just like back in the day, like the whole world was about taking the whole world and making all the people in that world in your world. You know what I mean? Like the uh, even uh, the cons, like they made it all the way across and they weren't trying to like not have they weren't trying to be all the same people. They were trying to let the people be who they were just as long as you paid them, essentially. I know they were brutal and they killed people too you know, and enslaved like, people. There's all the, you know what I mean? There's the same hey, with Rome, the same with the Roman Empire. You know what I mean? They did bad shit, but they had this. They had some sophist- They had some shit ahead, of, like ahead of the game. And then how do we curve it all the way to where it's like behind the game? So I, I also it. just love Roman art, mm-hmm. like anything that like depicts like Roman mythology, especially like Renaissance art that like depicts like Roman and Greek mythology. I think, oh my god, it's like just so good. I was born in the wrong generation. I was I should have been born in the Roman. Renaissance. Are you is your uh is the Roman Empire stuff is like it matches up with the current like Roman Empire thing like where they said all like all dudes dream about the Roman Empire or all dudes what was this? Kayleen, you remember this? It was like um it was like a topic on TikTok where it was like ask this like ask any dude how often they think of the Roman Empire. And it was like majority of the time the guy was like, Oh my god like every day. <laughs> like all the time. So, so David, that pissed you off, or you were like, I totally, I, just, like, I totally I'm feel I'm literally this. like, okay, like, why are we like implementing this into like? I'm just like, I don't know, like, whenever it's like my Roman Empire was this, I'm like, can we please just like stop talking in TikTok? Like, literally, just be like, I enjoy this thing. I don't have to say mm. my Roman Empire is this. And if you're going to, okay, cute, do it for about two weeks, and then we move on. New topic, entirely new meme. Get over it. Get it done. Period. Okay, I get that. I get that. Okay, the last like, okay, what is Riz party lore? Hell yeah, I want to go to a Riz party. You should do a glass with Riz party. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it was just some like video of like these kids having fun. Like, you know, like. Tarkus Quande Dangas. Also knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Okay. Am I the only person who doesn't know what this is? And I don't know. TikTok Riz for Oh, me. really? Oh. Okay. But you um, actually don't know what this is? Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, yes. I didn't know you didn't know what it this was. This came up in really our this know. came up in our pre production meeting, and I was like, well, I want to know what this is, and if this. These people big on, if they, you know, big on the talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on the talk, on the tick. T- t- oh, I don't care about it's TikTok. I think TikTok is overrated. Instagram Reels is where everyone should be. Period. Reels? Um, Instagram Reels. That's where everything is. Like, that's where all the funny videos are. That's where, like, every, like, like that's where your, like, content is cute. Like purely curated to you on TikTok, I feel like everything is TikTok shop, and I'm like, you mm-hmm. embarrassing. Really, they sold out that hard that fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, They're, like everything is TikTok shop. Do the are y'all starting to so? So is never mind. Oh. <laughs> Me and Caitlin are like too like woke pill to be like contributing to capitalism like that. That's what do why, you mean? That's why we step down. But like, what about oh, down. what isn't Instagram is like Instagram is the worst. Like that's not only like. Like Zuckerberg's not only a biter, but he's also like a shark. Like so, it's like he catch, catches and kills businesses. He's like he's notoriously fucking horrible. And then I guess the other side of it is you're gonna go on TikTok where that's the Chinese government. So like you're dealing with the equal, the opposite side of horrible. So you're electing to go with the the American side of horrible. I like that. Let's go. Yeah. Period. Yeah, like I said, keep it domestic. Right Look at this video on my phone. Oh, dude. That's <laughs> video. Video. We should totally have a Riz party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. You better so show David so he can see what a Riz party is. So it's basically that. Mm. Um, that looks like a circle of hell. And yeah. everyone just made edits 
of this video. Like, and there's so many of them. Just like I woke up one day and my whole For You page was just edits of this video. And okay. I had seen it a little bit before, but I just thought it was, you know, like some like younger kids like at a party, like doing what they do. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, technologies like that you nowadays, you know, but it was a big thing, apparently. Like, I found some pretty funny edits. Like, like, hold on. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it was like, it was like a purple background. It was like, I put, I posted like TikTok race party. And it was just people listening to Carnival. It was just this Okay, kind of literally party. half the bullshit you post, I'm literally like, okay, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I was like, okay, period, Davion. Yes, you better post that, girl. It was this group of white people. Just, I was at this party and the 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 song came on, and I already knew everyone was gonna start doing it, and so everyone just got in the crowd. And it was just funny. And I was just back, and I felt stupid for like saying like it was funny, because I feel like was, <laughs> like the whole time I was really just like sitting in the corner, like just smoking. Shout out to Jeremy Green and Hayes Connect. Hayes Connect. Um, uh, but no. Uh, but it was still, it was still just funny to watch because me and my spices we made fun of them, but in reality I, I was losing. But you know what? That doesn't matter because it's okay. Huh? You know, this brings me to it. I didn't even really think about this. So we just talked about we had just talked about diva spice, but from from my perspective, it comes from somewhere, and I believe that's because you go by like a what? Junior spice, sir spice. <laughs> Big spice? What is it? Spice. This is what I've been hearing. It's just, you know, everything comes to me and it's like, it's almost like Extra a game spice. of telephone. Like, people don't really want to tell me the truth. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's always like, what did Davey on this? Davey on that? <laughs> and then everyone's on here like, oh, fucking, Sir Spice really fucking did this, did some shit. And I'm like, the fuck is Sir Spice? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm Sir Spice. So how'd that start? You made that up? Is that, oh, <laughs> you man. made up your own nickname or somebody gave that to you? Oh, shit. To be honest... Okay, so the really reason why I came along was because, like, because of Ice Spice. Because it was like, damn. It was like, damn, it was like last summer. Like, bro, I'm like, Rassi. Yeah. Yeah, last summer. And I was like, damn, Ice Spice is my wife. And she was like, and her music is good as fuck, too. Like, you would, like, name me, like, I could sing, like, any, like, well, hold on, I'm going to say that. I could sing majority of Ice Spice songs. Cause they're like they're actually good. They're actually hard and oh, true. Cool. Wait, and my homeboys wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Ass, Do you guys shit know an Ice Spice it. song? Sorry, oh, yeah. I, 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 I fuck with Ice Spice. I fucking love. So it. tell me an Ice Spice song that. real quick. Uh, how high is my favorite Ice Spice song? Baby, you can start this out. Hell no. Okay. All right. I Maybe. couldn't like. I, I, like <laughs> Sorry, guys. It was, it was a setup. It was a setup. No, I'm with the. I'm with the. He's got any song like that. I'm like that. You so. E ice Spice, Ice Spice, Ice Spice, Pro, Pro, Pro? Yes. Oh, yeah. Pro spice. women. Yeah, and it's just more you know, like Ice Spice and like Nikki. And even Ice Spice and Pink Panther. That's like a great collab. That was just, What's Pink Panther? Uh, great, uh, British woman. Okay, Dude, okay. Great. She's a great artist. Awesome. Okay. Awesome sauce. Um, But, nah. Um, so Sir Spice came from there. From the desire, yeah, from like the more, desire like, to people what? recognize your relationship with. with see, see now and like you say like that, it just nice sounds crazy. Way. It just sounds crazy. No, nah, I'm saying that shit's Hard catchy. Punch. Like yeah. I think from, from. I feel like it sounds like a Mario Kart name when I think about it. Well, like people want to want to say it. Yeah, like so, like, so totally. now is it like are you having problems <laughs> with with Davion losing a little bit of, of rep to Sir Spice? Like Sir Spice, like people are like Sir Spice, what's up? No. No, I mean. Never want, like not many people call me like by my first name regardless. What do people call you? By my middle name. Which is? Jamal. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe somebody came up and maybe maybe I heard this somewhere and I was like, I don't fucking got a Jamal. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, this gotta be some fucking bullshit. I don't oh, even you know. Man. man, I'm out of the loop. You've exposed me. Yeah. I, um What about y'all? Davion, Jamal, or Sir Spice? Or as I coined him. Junior Spice. Well, that's Spice. Junior Spice. Yeah. That's just Spice. Yeah. Spice. spice. Now Spice. Yeah. The the spice. spice. Mm. I feel like Sir Spice is like, it's like a like a persona, you know. It's like a like oh I didn't say that Sir Spice did. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking uh -huh. smart. Fucking smart. All right. All right. All right. Let's take a quick break and uh. We'll get right back to it. It's going crazy break. We're going to go crazy at the last break. We're going to go make some harmony with Sir Spice and David and Gage. We're going to go crazy. Oh, cool. 
What? Do you know what ops are, Billy? Oh, dude, they're fucking everywhere in my life. Are you kidding? I'm fucking looking at ops everywhere. I almost fought a dude. I almost fought a dude at Gamma today. That motherfucker's my op now. Look, just cut in line. Like they know, there's no organization. Like so, it's just like I'm just waiting there patiently. The motherfucker just goes right in front of me. I said, nah, 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 nah. He said, explain it. He said, there's two lines. There's two people. I'm waiting for the first one to be done, and then I'm gonna go there. And you wait behind me. It was like a whole thing. So I'm gonna find what yeah. fucking store you own, sucker. Yeah. And we're back. And so what were you just saying? Were we not recording this whole time? We, we yeah, sort of, but like we might cut it out. You might want to cut it again. You're on. Like you know what I mean? What you said? <sighs> Maybe I don't know. So what are the questions you got for me? What do you want to know? Like, you didn't ask me where I'm from. Really? Where are you from, man? New Mexico. No way. Silver City. You know what? And the other day, I felt really, not not, not out of place, but I was like, damn. So I saw, I heard Johnny, he was speaking Spanish. What? To this Hispanic lady. And I was like, damn. I don't speak Spanish at all. I gotta set my fucking game. Up. Not at all. Like no, Johnny had enough. Johnny had enough. Yeah, no, like, yeah, to communicate. Asked, yeah, and I asked him. I was like, "You speak Spanish?" He was like, "I I, I know enough to like pass around." Or like, oh, and 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 um, Quinn. I was like, "Damn, like I don't know shit." Yeah, I don't know. I don't. But like, I could I could kind of do the same. And if you put me in Mexico for a week, I could start ordering my food right and stuff like that. Damn. Bless you. Oh, were you oh, sneezing? Thanks, thanks, yeah. Who sneezed? Okay. Yes. Uh, but nah, it's just I, I really can't like I really like I want to start learning it. But damn, then this sounds like more about you. So you're done asking questions now, or what? Oh, <laughs> I could I'll keep listening to you. I just curious. No, no, no. We don't need to hear about me. Really? So, nah. Okay. Um, that'll be another day for another time for another week for another month. All right. So look, I got this game going on. Basically, I'm old, y'all are young, and I'm curious about TikTok and TikTok followers, like who has what. And so I figured I'd quiz y'all and see who was the winner on TikTok followers. So let me get you a warm up. This one won't count. How many followers does Ye have? Kanye. Five million. Ten million. Don't know, don't care. Oh, you're going to get this one. Three mil? million. Three. Okay, it was one point eight. That's Caitlin. Fuck. It's okay. Don't worry. Next. Oops, so let's this. Oh, oh, that was just for practice. Sorry, Caitlin. You would have won that round. Okay. You guys know how the game works now. Okay. So let's do the divas. So basically, the modern diva. Don't cheat. Oh my god. So the modern diva, Ice Spice. On TikTok? On TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Oh, she um, got like a, at least a good 83 million. Uh, five mil? No. No, maybe not. If it's five TikTok, mil. then she got a good um, 83 mil. I'm low key gonna say like, because I don't two know. Mil. Like, two spice, mil. Ice spice. Three is, mil? Ice spice is very popular, and I know that a bunch of like kids follow her because of like, like if she's in Roblox games, I know that kids follow her. So I'm like. I say two or three. Two. Three. Three. I'm going to low-key say four million. Four million. Four million takes it. The answer is 10.7. Shit, I was closest. No, nice. you said 80-some million. Come on. What? I said You're 8 million. You're not going to get that one. Okay. The next one I want to know about from y'all is Queen mm-hmm. Nikki. 10 point mil. 10? 10 million. Okay. I think she went down. Yeah, I'm going to say like 8 um, million. 7 mil. 20 million. Spice gets that. Hey. That's crazy. See, it's okay, good. we're up. Everybody's favorite. I just heard y'all talking. Uh, Megan the Stallion. Yeah, she's okay. See, me and Dave about to argue. Literally, so like, there was, that, like, in a split second, there was, like, I was literally in, like, one of those books where you're, like, oh, like, choose this or choose this and like it literally popped up in front of me and whenever you said that it was like explain myself 
or literally take this microphone and just like actually just like and just like beat the shit out of you Mm. yeah yeah yeah. it's not good to hate on fucking meg so you so you also think it's a good name like megan the stallion this is this is creative and proper oh my god yes i think that's i think well because she's called megan the stallion because like guys would always make fun of her for her height because I think she's like 5'10". Stallion, yeah. And so, like, guys would always make fun of her for her height. And so she was like, well, I'm going to be, like, Megan the Stallion. Like, that's is, my is Megan Is Megan her first real name? Yes. Megan Pete. I mean, like, her real first name. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how many how many followers? Um, 12. 12. The numbers are high, so I'm feeling maybe, like, 12. 14. I'm gonna say 16. 18. It was 14. Fuck. 13.6. Caitlin got that one. Let's go, Caitlin. Let's I'm rooting go. for you over here. God damn it. Okay, God let me see. Do I have any other ones? Oh. Told this you this make- one's gonna surprise y'all. Nikki got higher. Tell me about Cardi. I like probably five mil. Do you guys like Cardi? Cardi yeah. B. He is. Yeah. Yeah, see how it, yeah, see how it, I like it. Is there's another one? Oh, Playboy you know Cardi is Cardi too? Yeah. You know what? Oh, I don't shit. No, talk Cardi B. I don't want to talk about Playboy Cardi. Okay, it's just Divas. I'm saying this is this is Cardi B. Okay. Well, yeah, you know what? I did like her in Fast and Furious. I thought she was a really good fit in Fast and Furious. <laughs> okay. So like how a, many followers? Mm, 12. Like 5 mil. Like 5 mil. I'm going to just say 10. Okay. 12, you said? Mm-hmm. 12, that's Caitlyn. But uh, Cardi B has 26 million. 25.8 million. Cardi B has more than all the rest of the divas. That actually kind of yeah. makes sense. I got that. Okay. Especially because, like, Cardi recently has had enough trending, like, hell. So, let's, the next one is, is a literal beast. The, probably one of the most followers that there is. Oh, Mr. Beast. Oh, he has, like, 10... Uh, is it, like, 500 million... He has a lot. He has like yeah, 75. He has, a, he has a lot of followers. I think it's 85. 85 million. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with 100 million, actually. Go with 85. I'm going to go with 100 million. Like 300 million. Okay. It's 100 million is the winner. David. He has, it's 93.9 million on the TikTok. But I don't think that's where... like It's YouTube, right? That Mr. Beast is the biggest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, oh. is PewDiePie the first? PewDiePie! <laughs> or did Mr. Beast pass him up? Oh, no, Mr. PewDiePie was actually... So, hold on. I'm actually going to tell you the law. Um, PewDiePie was um, actually the first biggest YouTuber. It was PewDiePie, Dan, TDM, and... uh I forgot who else. But he, PewDiePie had like... Markiplier. 10 mil? Yeah, Markiplier. Yeah, Markiplier yeah, 10 was mil, And then Mr. Beast passed him up. Okay, okay. All right, so then. Oh, no, he has like one billion. Oh, no, he doesn't. I'm sure, right? Bless so you. I got two more. Are are you you guys in the boxing? Like you know that Mike Tyson is fighting Jake Paul. You know what? And for the longest, I thought I'm like, damn, this shit is not real. Like this is this is like this is no, so, it's not real. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a real thing. This is so fucking like Mark. This, this looks so you like, don't care who wins. You don't think it's a knockout. You think it's soft gloves. I, I hope it's not. I hope Mike Tyson doesn't be flat ass on, uh, on the you, ground. You don't want him to beat up Jake Paul. No, I do. I want him to whoop his ass. Okay, okay. No opinions. No opinions. Tyson's winning. I feel like. I think yeah, it's gonna be set up for Mike Tyson. Tyson win. literally bit off a dude's ear. Yeah. Like. Yep. Yeah. He's got that old guy shit going on. I think that I like, like, Jake. Jake Paul, like, <laughs> honestly, like, I don't know. In my brain, like, his peak was whenever he was, like, with Tana Mojo. But that's also just because I'm, like, obsessed with Tana. So I'm, like... I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, all I right, love Tana right, Mojo. All right, all right, So how many followers does Mike Tyson have? 13 million. What? Stop laughing at me, woman. 30 mil? I'm going to say 12. Oh, shit. 10.6. David got another one. Damn. Close, Period. I've been saying 444 all day. All right. So if Mike's got 10.6, how many does uh, Mr. Jake Paul got? Oh, God. 14. <laughs> Are there still Jake Paul fans out there? Like, yeah. Shit, that's long famous, though, right? Like, that's like you got yes. famous and you've been yeah. famous and you stay famous. Because like, it's like his content sort of like matured 
with his audience. I think that, like, he started out as more, like, kid-directed content, and then, like, now he's, like, more into the fighter stuff, which I think, yeah. like, as your audience gets older, if you Trying move to on to something wrestling, more right? mature, then it's, like, I think that they'll be He's more, doing like, wrestling, or it's the other one? Boxing. Boxing. Nah, no, but isn't one of them, not one of them's in, like, WWE? Um, that's Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan's in it. Logan's oh, in oh it. he's talking about Logan Paul, huh? That's Jake Paul's brother. No, Okay, so Jake Paul, how many followers? Every day. Day, um, this is the second to the last one. So if you got it, if you got one coming, you better come hard with this, this one or the next I one. I say 14. 14, that's cool. Hmm? Yeah. Fucking A. What do you think, Clara? 14? 14, Davy? I'm going to say 20 million. <laughs> Damn it. 16. Okay, let's go. See, it was 17.5. Caitlin, you split the middle. Smart. Smart. They were both, like, I think, even away. Okay, so we know a little bit. Like, I'm saying, Spice, you've been all over this. Like, you've been so close. Like, everybody's a little bit closer. Like, but it's like, uh, if there was the closest overall total, I bet you would have had it. All right. So we have a president, a current president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. How many followers do you think Sleepy Joe's got? Five million. Six mil. Way more than that, I feel like. You think you think they just give know. him? You think they I just think give him ten, right? Like TikTok would just be like, "All right, <laughs> Joe, <laughs> here's ten. <laughs> or not ten k, ten mil. No. Also, like I don't know if like Joe Biden popped up on my for you page, like that's just like <laughs> funny to think about. I don't know. Hit the Is he hit TikTok? the follow on that. It's Joe Biden he and Kamala has, yeah, he has HQ. Like it's like, like oh yeah. my god, I love videos of me yeah. here. It's I don't think distance. he runs the TikTok just the coconut tree. <laughs> okay, so what's the numbers? What's the numbers? Six mil. I'm gonna get this wrong. I already know it. But Three hundred mil. mil. I'm gonna say fifty million. Okay, TikTok fucking don't like Joe Biden. He only has three hundred thousand. 292k oh. for the Joe Biden and uh, so I was I close to uh, for the Biden Harris campaign. <laughs> I know. I was literally like, I mean, if he pops up on my for you page, I'm like, okay, like this is funny, whatever. Like he did your little dance, Me? but like, what you pick Lois on there. Wait, yeah, pick Lois. Four million, five million, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I want some brownies for real. Damn, mm, brownies sound fucking look. dope right now. You so. Me? That's crazy to think about. What, about like some brownies? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Not quite. Um, brownies sound good, though. What if, we, what if, like, oh, what if, like, someone, like, just ran through the door, just started running through the shit, and just, like, I don't know, that'd be funny, right? I'd step up quick for you. Oh. I'll just make it be funny. Just I just mean, I would laugh. I would, I would be, be like, having. I would be like, <laughs> You would be, like be a, laughing like, I'd be like for a knee, him. Knee kicker. I'd be like, that's a knee slapper. Okay. I believe this was a 3-3-2. Three, three, Spice, you're last with two. Tie, tie at the top. Three and three. Good job. Y'all know best. Go figure. So basically, I kind of figured the same thing. And I, what I wanted to know is uh, how many TikTok followers do y'all have? Do you want to guess? Oh, yeah. I guess, actually. 283,000. Oh, like, wait. 300 and, 324,000. Sir Spice, Sir Spice backup account. I'm guessing has somewhere upwards of 200,000. 200, Fuck no. I don't know. Okay, Absolutely know not. Absolutely not. Huh, now? Now I know the number. So was I above or below? Below. You have more than that? Yeah. So I think you're really famous. Do you do you, do you feel like I like like to have somebody here that has that many followers? That's pretty intense. Like I'm looking up the president. It's only 292. You want to talk about how I have a lot of followers? So I went low on you too? You have, no, a, you, you, have, you went high on me. Okay. Um, I have like 260k. What? Yeah. Point something. But 
one I thought you there. had more. No, I only have 200. Well, I used to be in the like 300 range. And then I like stopped posting as often. So how, like, how do you feel? Like, do you feel, well, not nah, well, shit. Sir Spice, where was I, where was I wrong at? Oh, uh, you were like, 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 definitely wrong. I was like, <laughs> like, really low. There's oh, no yeah, way. he's got like six mil. Fuck no. Five mil. Yeah, on, on TikTok? Yeah. I was 604. Oh, okay. I was like, right. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm, okay. I don't really like. This is your main. This is your main account. That's what you fuck with. Is that the same for y'all? Do you have multiple accounts? With, do you have multiple accounts with numbers like this? I have not multiple on, accounts. Not on TikTok. But not with numbers like yeah, not that. With TikTok, like, one really. numbers account. Yeah. And then like on Instagram, you have num like multiple accounts that have big numbers. No. My Instagram only have like. Or big numbers. Wait, what? Oh no no no! I only. Have like multiple numbers. accounts, but oh, wow. yeah, like everybody's got a real one, and in, in what y'all call it a Finsta. Oh, the community. I also just have an art Instagram too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like a, like a business, a business, a personal. Yeah, I have like a public spam, but it was really just because I wanted to save my username if, mm. if I ever wanted to change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, and the glass and the glass shit, everybody don't like the weed stuff. You're always getting banned, so you come up with like a bunch of names close to it. Yeah, you gotta save them. So like, do you feel? Do you feel how I feel? Like like so like. Do you, like when you walk like when you're walking around is it something that you carry with you like do you know it or do you feel like you don't feel like you have an advantage over me and uh spice over here i mean i don't really think so so basically not I not like you're better than me i don't mean it like that i know it's just like a level of fame a level of fame that's like i've you know i know like around west campus i feel it it was like i don't know because my thing is that i've thought a lot about it and i think that like my like tiktok account was just very much like authentically like whatever i was into at the time and i think that like as the algorithm kind of like shifted and everything it was like tiktok became more dependent i feel like on having like a specific audience mm -hmm. so it's like like if i'm like i have like different periods like oh i would you know dress up as share and do that clueless audio thing or like whenever i was obsessed and talking about monster high all the time it was like i got little niche pockets of TikTok to follow me but then in the long run whenever i was like okay like actually those were all just kind of like little niche interested niche interests i would be like okay like let me just post for real now and it would barely even do anything so i don't even like post on that account anymore mm, because the only stuff that people that people liked was this thing that you were creating yeah it rather was like, than rather than like the self that's why like the number was just like always kind of weird for me because i was like these people followed me for content and not for me you know what i mean yeah it was like they were kind of just following like oh i like this topic as well let me follow you but then it's like kind of like as my interests changed so did like a lot of the content that I post and I think that people kind of it's like no I, I totally get it it's like I do the same thing but it's like you know as a brand kind of changes and if it's not necessarily what like you're also going with then it's like yeah you're gonna lose followers like you hit this place in like it hit a place in time and because you were being you were doing what you wanted to do and you know what you think you could do but you want to do what you want to do is it kind of like you know what I mean? Like I think that what was always like a. What would you do if when he said yes would yes go? Would go. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. Like TikTok's a lot different now than when. Yeah, I it's just the thing is, is that it's like um, I got. I feel like we both got big because we were just like kind of just like doing whatever we wanted whenever it was still little. Mm -hmm. But then like I think as new and bigger things started coming up, it was like. I don't know. They weren't like they just didn't follow us. They followed yeah. like the aesthetic or something like that. Yeah, no, because like I would just like when I started on TikTok, um, I would make like you know art videos. Um, those would do good. I would also make like I had this kind of series of videos that I used to do, where I would like search Spotify for like artists under a certain amount of listens, and then I would listen through all the artists that I found under that like certain amount and then i would just like pick my favorites and then i'd like put them in a video and i'd be like hey y'all should listen to these bands and then those got me pretty big like i did those for a while um and then like i just started doing like fit outfit like outfit videos 
like you know and it still propagate like it still propagates today like you're still trying to go like you're still trying to grow in all these different avenues see back then it was very much like you could follow a trend and if you did the trend you you like got like on the for you page like it was like it was very much keep with the trends keep with like posting um if you're consistent people like that um but like i don't know i don't know i think that sort of like tiktok as a whole just like really it, it was just like a different atmosphere i think whenever it was like still new because i know mm-hmm. that like i kind of hopped on tiktok early and so it's like i think that people were just kind of following us just because it's like i don't know it's like oh god it's so hard to explain it i'm was, like oh you had to be there it was funny too because i was also on musically um see, yeah, what's TikTok. this this was like <laughs> fucking tiktok before TikTok. So, it was basically the same thing as TikTok. Yeah, it was like lip syncing videos, but it was more like cringy, just like yeah. pretending you're in like a music video. <laughs> okay, okay. I was in a little my little like stuff emo, that people like, like 21 do. Pilots era. Yeah. Okay, know. okay. Luckily, I kept that sector of my life off of Musical.ly, and I was not on Musical.ly. Yeah.